In this video, I'm going to show another example of how to solve a system of equations with elimination. And this example is full of fractions. So we'll first I'll show how to clear the fractions, and then we'll solve the system with elimination. Okay, so we've got another system to solve with elimination, and this one is full of fractions. So we have x over 2 plus y over 8 equals 4, and x over 3 subtract y over 2 equals negative 2. So, let's name these. That'll be number one, and this one will be number two. Actually, the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the fractions. Um, and from that point, it'll just be a regular system that we're solving with elimination. Now, we get rid of the same fr the fractions the same way as we would have if we were have intended to solve this with substitution. Um, we're going to multiply each equation by its lowest common denominator. So let's write that down. So multiply each equation... its lowest common denominator. Okay, so what that means in the case of equation 1, we've got x over 2 and y over 8. So the lowest common denominator is the lowest common multiple of those, and it'll be 8. So, we're going to do number 1 times 8. So that gives us so we'll write 8 times x over 2 plus y over 8 equals 4. So 8 times x over 2 is 8x over 2. 8 x over, divided by 2, which is 4x. Um, and if you need to, stop and write down all the steps there. And 8y divided by 8 is just 1y. And then 8 times 4 is 32. So this is going to be equation 1 prime. Uh, for number 2, we'll do number 2 times, and then we need the lowest common multi multiple, or lowest common denominator of these two. So it's going to be 6. So number 2 will multiply by 6. So that's 6 times x over 3 minus y over 2 equals negative 2. And again, if you'd prefer, feel free to um, right, that you're multiplying every single term by 8, or that you're doing the left side times 8 and the right side times 8 as well. Because if you write it like this, what you've got to watch out for is that you remember to multiply everything by whatever the number is, the 8 or the 6. Um, and the one that would be maybe a bit, you might be worried about is that you might forget to multiply the last constant by that number. So here we have 6x over 3, which is going to be 6 divided by 3 is 2, so it'll be 2x minus 6y over 2, and 6 divided by 2 is 3, so that's 3y, and that's equal to negative 12. So that is 2 prime. Okay, so now we're ready to start. It's like as if we had any other system of equations with 1 prime and 2 prime here, and we'd like to eliminate them. Now this one, so if we look, check the coefficients, we don't have any terms with the same coefficients. For x we've got 4 and 2, and for y we've got 1 and negative 3. But actually this is sort of the second best situation, um, because uh, 4 is a multiple of 2. And also, one is, uh, three, negative 3 is a multiple of 1. So we, we can uh, eliminate one of the variables um, by only multiplying one of these two equations, which is nice, it just saves us a little bit of work. Um, so I think maybe I'll try to eliminate the x's. The lowest common multiple of 4 and 2 is just 4. So I'm going to try to get these, maybe I'll write that down first. The lowest common multiple of, so 4 is from the green equation, and then 2 is from the purple equation. That's equal to 4. Um, so I want 4x in each. So I've already got 4x in equation number 1 prime, so I'm good there. 
I'll do multiply equation 2 prime by, I've got 2x and I'd like 4x, so I have to double it by 2. So we've got 2 times, and then I'll just copy 2 prime, 2x minus 3y equals negative 12. So that gives us 4x minus 6y equals negative 24. And then this one we can call 2 prime prime, or 2 double, double prime. Okay, so I've got equation 1 prime up here with 4x, and equation 2 double prime down here with 4x. So I'm going to um, subtract these two equations, because I want to have 4x minus 4x equals 0. Oh, sorry. There we go. Okay, so... I'm going to look ahead at the signs. Either You can either do 1 prime minus 2 double prime, or you can do it the opposite way. Either one will give you the same answer. I try to do the one that um, just kind of avoids more negatives. Um, I'm going to subtract. I think it will have fewer negatives if we do 1 prime minus 2 double prime. So what that gives us is we've got 4x plus y equals 32, and we're subtracting 2 double prime, which is 4x minus 6y equals negative 24. So as always, um, big subtraction sign, and then put all that in brackets. So 4x minus 4x is 0x. That's what we're hoping for. If you don't get that, then stop and go try to figure out what went wrong. y subtract negative 6y. So we're subtracting a negative, so we'll add it. So it's y plus 6y. So this is going to equal to 7y. And here we've got 32 subtract negative 24, which is the same as 32 plus 24. So it's 56. Okay, continuing up top here. We had 7y equals 56, and I'll divide by 7, we get y equals 8. So that's excellent. That's the hard part done. We've got one of the variables isolated. So now to solve, we've got y, we know that y is 8, we want to find x. So we'll substitute number, equation number 3 into one of the equations. Um, we can substitute into 1 or 2, or if we want to avoid those fractions, we can substitute into 1 prime or 2 prime. Um, I guess any of those is fine. So maybe we'll substitute 3 into, I'll choose either one of these ones. Um, maybe I'll just choose 1 prime, just because it's only 1y. Either one should give you the same answer. If we haven't made any mistakes yet, you'll get the same answer from both. Into 1 prime. So 1 prime is 4x plus, and then the y is 8. And it should be equal to 32. So I'll subtract, now I want to isolate x, so I'll subtract 8 from both sides. So we have 4x equals 24. So to isolate x, we'll divide by 4. We have x equals 6. So there we go. Again, just like in the last video, um, normally you should uh, go through and do a left side, right side check. But I'm not going to do it just for the length of the video. So we'll just, I'll conclude by just writing a concluding statement here. So the solution is xy equals, my x value was 6, my y value was 8. There we go. Okay, good luck.